This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Then Chennai takes an ugly turn. Students lose control, attack the police forces. Even an assistant commissioner is not spared. <laughs> Chennai city police steps up the ante against Lalit Modi. Will send interrogation team to Mumbai. Are likely to seek an arrest warrant. Putting the right step forward, Amma asks party guarders to keep the celebrations humble. Requests election work on her birthday. Mosquitoes continue to be a menace, sir, seemingly immune to even the fogging that's meant to wipe them out completely. Hospitals demand sector status and concessions on credit and land. Propose more tax rebates for investment in health insurance. Please give it priority sector and you know give us access to funds so that we can really build out a phenomenal infrastructure. They are the champions of the world, but they have been handed the royal ignore. No job opportunities for these star achievers. I mean, in this field, I have been working for 20-22 years, but I don't have a job now. I am playing every year international and national. Very good evening, and welcome to Headlines News. Now, with me, Ashmit Kumar. Let's have a look at a quick look at stories coming in from across the country. Let's have a look at a quick look at stories coming in from across the country. Ki Kalmadi, Aid Lalit Banod, and B K Varma are arrested. Will Kalmadi be the next one? Maji, the junior engineer, is released by the Maoists, but the latest report suggests that the collector will not be released any time soon. Top clerics decide controversial Darul Uloom Vice Chancellor Vastanvi will stay for now. A panel will look into charges against him. Lok Sabha is adjourned twice as MPs from Telangana demand a bill on statehood. Even Congress MPs join the chorus. As the Serb crisis in Libya continues, India firms up its evacuation plans for stranded Indians. Acquitted after the Godra verdict, dozens return to their homes and freedom after nine years in jail. And if you want to buy a World Cup ticket, don't go to the crashed website. Now you can get it through a new lottery system. Well, first up, around 25 policemen, including an assistant commissioner and uh, two inspectors, were injured in Chennai today as students of a private college pelted stones at the police. Now, trouble began when students who returned to their campus after celebrating Bas Day. Targeted the police and the college literally turned into a battlefield as police retaliated. Now, just a few days ago, the Madras High Court had come down heavily on the police forces for failing to ban the bus day celebrations, which caused a huge inconvenience to passengers and to road traffic. Aku ni, nas tanjir di karam cang, water color kita tanjir lah, enggak malah di cang, pal pal di cang, butun aku buat lah pichi, semua orang malah potan. Apa orang enggak semua orang memang orang memang segala, kau buat lah, boi kalau tu kadi karam cang. Apapun nama yang anggap chase pun, chase pun lah kalau tu kadi cedah nala, anak kita lah head injury, kahal lah, kaya lah injury. Ini yang mari nariya polis ke public ke public ke nariya ada damage puni tangga, vehicle lah damage puni tangga, public kerja bus damage puni tangga, mera nariya damage sair ke, baca bus kaji stroke. Auto hotin poinan dah, eh orang sanda itu aman tu, bulan perih kalu andingnya bunduh tu, apa dia nane, mai kemai ya apa dia. India utte hospital ko non tanga police aja. Public na ni ni beri pas ada color marak ni, boleh perih kalle. Ini mar mar ni beri ni. Alat ni ni mengiru kan? Mereka alat ni ni kalu ni seram marai beri ni. Nalai orang ni pun nak beri nak kira marai kerjanya beri ni. Alat ni police aja orang ni hard pelit ni, orang ni hard pelit. Well, our crime reporter Salim has been keenly tracking those uh, string of developments uh, that uh, ensued uh, this uh, afternoon. And of course, for more on that, let's go across to our crime reporter Salim, who's joining us live from the newsroom. Now, Salim, first up again, uh, this followed this incident followed the bus day celebrations, which is uh, supposed to be this youthful uh, uh, exposition of uh, again youthful spirit. How did that translate into again a sense of violence between uh, that too between the police forces and the young students? Yeah, basically, Pachepas College uh, students uh, were misbehaving with the public. They were manhandling the women uh, passengers in the bus and they were ransacking uh, the nearby cool drink shop. And when the police asked the students to mind their behavior, all this started. And also, uh, as the I court uh, questioned the top cop of the city as to why the police are unable to stop the bus day celebrations, the vigilant policemen today uh, didn't allow the students uh, to travel on top of the bus 
and in a fit of rage the pachepas college uh, students started uh, pelting stones water packets started spraying milk from the milk packets and uh, they were throwing garland of flowers at the deputy commissioner and that's when everything started it's uh, leem now again uh, the madras high court had come down on the on the on the police forces for not really uh, curbing down on the bus uh, on the bus day celebrations what action were they seen taking to, uh, today and now the visuals we have some visuals and the situation seems pretty tense right now so again what kind of uh, remedial measures were the police forces taking at that point in time yeah the lower level police officers uh, say for example the inspector sub inspector and the constable say uh, feel helpless because they say unless they receive command from the top cops in the city they are unable to act because everybody knew what happened on the 15 uh, on, on the 19th of february uh, 2009 so uh, the police people say they are very cautious not to uh, attack the students or uh, not to retaliate and uh, they say that they are waiting for the commands from the top officers and the result uh, today 25 policemen were attacked by the students they are undergoing treatment at a government hospital also sources from the police say that they have decided to convene a meeting with the principals of all the city college soon Hey, Salim, have they commented on why there was this sense of miscommunication in the sense that uh, the police forces are not being al allowed to retaliate even when confronted with almost like a mob-like situation? Yeah, because uh, the same thing when uh, 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 it happened during the 19th of February 2009 when there was a clash between the police and the lawyers, uh, the top cops were transferred, the then city commissioner of police, Mr. Radha Krishnan was transferred and posted as ADGP law and order and ADGP, uh, the then ADGP LNO is now uh, the city commissioner of police, Mr. T. Rajendran and, and, and hence uh, the police are hesitant in taking action, especially in retaliating against uh, uh, the students or uh, any, it, anyone else. All right, Salim. Now, a final word on, on the condition of those who were actually injured in this uh, violent exchange. Uh, there are around 25 policemen and women who were injured uh, in this attack and they are undergoing treatment at the Kirpak Medical College Hospital and the government hospital near Chennai Central. They are recovering as of now. Right, Salim. Thanks a lot for joining us with all those updates and insights into this afternoon's uh, developments. Let's move ahead now. And the infamous case of alleged uh, political murders involving the PMK top brass took a decisive turn today. The Madras High Court today ordered status quo to a petition filed by the AIDMK MLA CV Sean Mugam relating to a political murder during the 2006 Assembly elections. Now, the case cites PMK's Ramados and Anbumani, Ra Anbumani Ramados as accused. Now, AIDMK MLA, who is the petitioner, had demanded a CBI probe into the political murder of uh, Muru Gandan uh, during the run-up to the 2006 Assembly polls. However, interestingly, though the police named both Ramados and Anbumami Ramados as accused in the case, their names were later dropped. C.V. Shanmugam alleged in his petition that the names were dropped due to political pressure. The High Court heard the petition and ordered status quo. That basically means that the investigations into the case are still pending. C.V. Shanmugam has moved application before this Honorable High Court for a CB investigation in respect of the murder taken place in the year 2006 and attempt to murder of the uh, MLA. The case came up before his lordship, Jodi Manije. After hearing the arguments on the side of the uh, MLA, his lordship the ordered for keeping status quo and posted the case on Monday for uh, filing reply on behalf of the government. Well, and some more news from the political circles as AIDMK General Secretary Jai Lalita turns 63 on Thursday. Places of worship swarmed with party carders making special offerings for their leader. The AIDMK's women wing made an offering of over 2,000 milk pots at Vadapalni Murugan Temple a day ahead of her birthday. Take a look. The Queen Bee turns 63 tomorrow. And unlike Mayavati's birthday bash, Jailalita's is likely to be celebrated with sobriety by her party. Don't celebrate my birthday, instead focus on election work. She had instructed the AIADMK rank and file. Religiously adhering to the diktat, they are heading to temples. You can call it a confluence of bhakti and politics if you like. But from MLAs to the ordinary AIA-DMK workers who observed the ritual fast before reaching the temples, there was only one prayer, one wish, make Amma win. 
இதய தெய்வம் புரட்சி தலைவி மாண்முக அம்மாவர்களுடைய அறுபத்தி மூணாவது பிறந்த நாளை முன்னிட்டு வடபழனி முருகர் கோயிலுக்கு இப்போது எல்லாம் பால் அபிஷேகம் பண்ணுறதுக்காக மகளிர் அணி மாநில மகளிர் அணி சார்பாக இப்போது பால் அபிஷேகத்துக்காக எல்லா லேடிஸும் அந்தந்த மாவட்டத்திலேருந்து வந்திருக்கிறோம் அது சென்னை மாவட்டத்திலேருந்து நிறைய அதிக லேடிஸ்கள்லாம் வந்திருக்கிறாங்க அம்மா கண்டிப்பாக வந்துடணும் எல்லாரோட ஓட்டம் அம்மாவுக்காக தான் நாங்கள் ரொம்ப அரும்பாடு பட்டு இந்த பால் கொடுத்த அம்மாவுக்காக நினச்சி மனசார நாங்கள் எடுக்கிறோம் இந்த வாட்டி அம்மா கண்டிப்பாக வரணும் ஏஐஏடிஎம் கே சுப்ரீமோ ஜெயலலிதாஸ் பர்த்டே செலிப்ரேஷன் சாரி மீட்டிங் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் ரிலீஜியஸ் ட்ரெடிஷன் அண்ட் பாலிடிக்ஸ் சி மே ஹவ் வாண்டட் த பர்த்டே செலிப்ரேஷன்ஸ் டு பி அ லோ கீ அஃபேர் பட் தேர் இஸ் நோ ஸ்டாப்பிங் த ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸி அசோசியேட்டட் வித் தேர் பர்த்டே செலிப்ரேஷன்ஸ் இன் சென்னை பீர் முகமது அண்ட் டிவி ஹிந்து And well, as Amma turns the 63 tomorrow, her ally and MDMK General Secretary Vaiko met the AIDMK Chief Jai Lalita at her residence today to wish her on the eve of her birthday. I came here to convey my birthday greetings to the general secretary of aadmk dr prachit talavi there was no talks about the seat sharing of the for the ensuing assembly elections if the congress party headed by sonia gandhi is really serious about the himalayan scam of spectrum Why does the Congress party want to join hands with the DMK for the ensuing assembly elections in Tamil Nadu? And while the wish list for Pranab Mukherjee grows longer, the healthcare segment is looking for its own fair share of the pie. We get you their demands from the budget on the other side. 